Hello, I'm Tenman 432 and welcome to my new YouTube series. In the past, mainly the only games that I've played here are Mega Man games, and that's because my favorite YouTuber ever, Clement J64, did a lot of Mega Man games. In fact, he did all of them. But today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be playing a three-dimensional game called Shadow of the Colossus. As you can already tell, this is one of those artsy type games, but it comes from an era known as 2005, where those artsy type games were new. Anyway, this is our main protagonist here. His name is Wanda. He's riding atop his horse, his faithful horse, Agro, who I always called Egro. In fact, throughout this game I learned to uh, like this horse so much I wanted to name my black cat Agro, but eventually we had to settle with Giovanni. It's weird naming things. Anyway, here's an epic gap here. Hopefully they can make it. It would have been a shame if they died before the game started. Am I right, lads, or am I right, lads? The game originally came out on PlayStation 2, and I heard of it because of Game Informer when the PlayStation 4 remaster came out. I'm playing the PlayStation 3 remaster, which simply has HD graphics, and it's, it's pretty neat. But if you ever do check out the PlayStation 4 remaster, this honestly looks amazing. I haven't gotten it yet because I already have the game, don't need a new version of it. Um, but yeah, this is on PS3, it's the first game that it, I've recorded. New fancy uh, HDMI recording. So now if I have any game on console, I can just play that instead of wanting to um, use an emulator for that, because my computer can't run a PS2 emulator. Can't even run, like, a PS1 emulator good. But yeah, here we are, we've gotten past that issue, and now I can play a lot more games than we would be able to in the past. Anyway. Here's Wanda and his trusty horse Agro approaching the gates of the Forbidden Land. Um, the Forbidden Lands is where this entire game is going to be taking place. Uh, you might have noticed how dark it was earlier, and then the second he enters this place, it's really bright. bridge was, so of course they made another shot panning above them. It's quite a large bridge in my opinion. And just like that, here we are. Title screen. I guess we could start a new game. Or we could just look around. Actually, a pretty neat thing about all the camera angles in this game. During cutscenes or the title screen, you can actually move the right analog stick and look around. But let's not dwell any longer on that subject. Let's get straight into the story. We all love foreboding music, don't we? They should really add guardrails to that um, bridge there. Kind of a violation of safety. Oh. Don't you like it when doors magically open? Because Agro doesn't. Huh. 
aggro is smart. But you know what's better than when a door magically opens? When it magically closes. But Wander doesn't care. Seriously though, guardrails, pretty important stuff. Alas, I stole the Duomo from Florence. Also the downward spiral, from somewhere. Oh. Yeah, did I mention that you can move the camera around during all the cutscenes? Cause you can. It messes up stuff. Agro doesn't like water. Agro's smart. I'm digging those low quality textures just as much as you are. Is that a body bag? I believe so. Also, Wander's really small. Maybe Agro is just huge. I don't know. Let's watch this plot development here. That's how cloth works. It's my cat. Oh. Wait. Maybe that's not my cat. Never mind.
you lot? Most of you are all of you like one. You will just realize the world is the core. Watch no one take you with you, you lot. Sorry, I gotta pause here for a second. In this next few seconds, just watch that cloth that Wonder dropped. It's funny. Is Kyumku? It is all of you, Iweriko. It's not all amusement. A little click, if the least do is. I bet. I always give you more, not even his, not worse. On the road around, I wear the shoes. Ayo was not a Iwakura. You bet, Samada. Is it over? Is the cutscene finally over? Oh. Yeah, Mr. Dorman, I am going. Anyway, there's a shot of the Colossus. Sorry, that was a pretty long cutscene. If you weren't able to follow that, basically, this god thing in the sky named Dorman can control the souls of the dead and bring them back if it would like to do so. And this girl over here on the table died. I mean, I guess it's not really a table, but whatever. Anyway, to bring her back, basically, Mr. Doorman wants us to kill all these giants. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Easy. Just gotta adjust my controls here, because the camera in this game is bad. It's notoriously bad for being just bad. And, um, yeah, if you ever play the game, you'll see that, but I'm gonna try to handle it the best I can, so I'm gonna try to work out all the stuff now. Anyway, so what we do in this game, we take our sword, 
hold the circle button. And then, this happens. First we gotta switch to our sword. Here we go. The beam of light, we can kind of move around where we're pointing to. And the beam of light, when it is centered, that is where our next monster will be. Anyway, during that cutscene, it was pretty chill for me, because I usually have to do the voice acting, but I guess today I don't have to, because there's voice acting in this game. Unfortunately, there's only like two cutscenes in the entire game, so that's how many breaks I get. So this is Agro, our horse from earlier. Yeah. Um, really cool thing about this, if you start- actually something not cool, is that if you kick the horse, he will go. Um, Agro's actually a female horse. Just a little trivia there. A little confusing though. But anyway, if you aren't controlling this horse, Agro here, Agro, whatever, and uh, you just let her go, she'll go by yourself. And that's unfortunate news there. Battery for controller one is low. I guess we won't be playing for very long. Anyway, throughout the game, there are these fruit trees, and you can shoot them down, shoot the fruit down, I mean, with your bow and arrow. Eating fruit is healthy, and if you eat fruit, you get a higher maximum HP, which is neat. Anyway, let's continue on. You press the X button to call your horse, and uh, sometimes she doesn't respond for a few seconds and it's pretty annoying so you just keep calling her but then you're actually turning out to be more annoying your voice you're just saying aggro over and over and over and over again and um yeah i guess it's a realistic horse realistic horses don't come to your beck and call whenever you need them like i would know anyway here's our first area cutscene time That wasn't a very good cutscene. Anyway, here we are. We gotta get up there. And, uh, the thing about this game, the only other mechanic, is climbing. Hold R1 to grab onto something climbable, and climb it all the way up. Or fall down. Or jump up. Like so. And then you gotta hit triangle to get up. Once you figure this out, um, it is a lot easier, but, um, you do have to figure it out. It is a learning process, you know. It took me half an hour to get to where I am right now, the first time I played this. That's an exaggeration. It didn't take me quite half an hour. Another weird thing is that the jump button is triangle. Um, I got used to it pretty fast, but then I started playing literally any other game with jumping, and then I was hitting triangle, so I got maybe a little too used to it. But yeah. There's a lot of nice vantage points in this game, like here. You can actually hold L1 and Wander will look around, it's pretty neat. But sometimes, like I said, the camera's a little wonky, like right now, trying to get a good view, but it's not really working. So let's just continue on. So yeah, it takes a while to get used to the climbing, but that's why that tutorial section is there. What is this? Oh no. It's big and scary and it has leg legs. And arm arms. Scary. Anyway, this is our first monster we gotta fight. Its name is Valus. I think. You can look at the Colossus by holding L1. It's pretty good because the camera is pretty not good. And also, we can use our bow and arrow to start this fight. Or we can just stalk it all the way to the end of this. Another thing you want to be doing, you want to be finding its weak spot by again pointing the light. And uh, it'll get highlighted. Yeah, that seems like kind of a dumb move, but basically I 
I need to get its attention so it doesn't keep walking that way. But yeah, may the battle commence. Cue the music in three, two, one. So basically for this game, we got a three step plan here. Step one is not getting killed by the Colossus. Step two is finding a way to get onto the Colossus body. And step three is to stab the heck out of the weaknesses with your sword. Pretty violent game. There just really is no excuse for what you're doing here. Kinda makes you feel like a villain, you know? Pretty rude. Anyway. Colossus 1, Valus. Weakness is on at the back of its leg. And after that, it goes into a little crouching position, and you can climb up it. I'm saying it, because I don't want to humanize this thing that I'm killing. Anyway, there can be some resting points. Resting points along the Colossus, like the scaffolding here. It's just there. You can rest on it and gain your stamina back. Stamina is represented by the pink circle there, and your health is represented by the red bar. Anyway, we're up on its back now. That's where usually you want to be. And it's going to start shaking, because it doesn't want us on his back. That's its weak point on its head. We highlighted it by uh, finding it with the sword. I just tried to do a jump stab thing for maximum damage, but it took off half its health in one hit. Pretty neat. Oh yeah, one thing I do have to clear up, um, that's not blood spraying out, that's like essence of spirit. Totally not blood, okay? Even though, um, it may appear that way. Blood is not black. Anyway, that third part of the plan I was talking about, um, stabbing it, you know. All the Colossus just love to shake around and make you not kill them. But, um, for this guy, it was already too late. Good night, Dallas. After a colossus dies, these uh, tendril looking worm things will come out, and uh, you cannot run them. They'll always get you. Wander's gonna fall over, go to sleep, and then we see this trippy little mandala. Mandala? Mandala. I said it! I said it right! I was always saying mandala, and I was saying it wrong, but oh well, whatever. We get a trophy every colossus, and then we save our game, because we're smart people and also this is the end of the video so yeah i'll see you in the next part peace and sheep PS3 takes a really long time to save.